Hello folks, today I'm going to talk to you about Bevy GLTF Blueprints, which is a set of crates and tools to enable you to create prefabs for the Bevy game engine using Blender and the GLTF file formats. And this should enable you to create reusable uh, prefabs that you can use both when building levels and also at runtime to spawn well anything you like for example a set of health pickups like this so first of all what are blueprints or pre prefabs you might have heard of them or used them in other game engines they are essentially templates for in-game entities or actually hierarchies of entities just as you want uh, Blender collections can also be used or thought of as blueprints, which is also the basis of this workflow. So what happens here at least? So here, for example, we have the health pickup uh, blueprint or collection in Blender, and it has a set of components, which is what you want to use on the baby side. And then once you have your blueprint setup or your collection setup inside blender with geometry with the hierarchy anything you want you can then simply create a, a well an instance of that so a collection instance for example with help pickup i created a few of these here and that's the basis of what a blueprint is another important aspect of blueprints is that basically you can override certain aspects of them so if here for example you have four health pickup uh, objects but they all have different positions but you could also override their color how much health they give and thing like that and there's also two main uses for blueprints basically the ones that you define as part of your level uh, that come pre-baked in a way and the ones that you want to spawn while the game is running for example you want to spawn these kind of health pickups uh, while the game is running such as i'm doing here for example so next up i'm going to take you through the overall workflow because it's really quite simple so first of all you should actually set up the plugin if you choose to use it so you have your main scene and your library scene where your collections come from uh, there's the output path for the main scene or world uh, this ensures that it also automatically exports things when you change your li your collection, well, the, the original collections. And what we're actually interested in here is the blueprints part. There's also the standard GLTF export settings, which you can set to your liking. So we have here everything already pre-configured. And what this is going to do, so this is uh, the main scene is your level or world or however you want to call it. And we have instances of collections. And this is going to be automatically exported every time you save. What this means is it's actually going to generate so the main output file and for any collection that you're using so only the things that you're actually using it's going to use the name of those collection to generate gltf files for each of those so you can see container health pickup magic teapot pillar and player and those are actually here so the container which there's two of the health pickups the magic teapot and the player and these are all actually defined inside your library of blueprints in a way. The Blender add-on that I provide is actually doing a bit more. What it does behind the scene is it creates a specific intermediary scene where it replaces all the collection instances with empties so that it can be rehydrated on the bevy side, so to speak. So if you take a look at your main export, so the whole level is actually a tiny GLTF file and the it sort of replaces all the collection instances with specific marker components. So a blueprint name and a spawn here component, which we'll, we'll get to in a second. To make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to show you live how to create another uh, blueprint so 
I'm just gonna create a new collection. Let's call it test. And then we are just basically going to create the absolute bare bone amount of things that we can do. We add just a cube. We're just gonna copy the components over from the health pickup. We're gonna name it test component. Uh, naming doesn't really matter, but I like to keep it uh, consistent. You do need to have components in there for it to be picked up. So we're gonna use a mesh collider this time. And that's pretty much all that we should need. And what we can do is just create a collection instance for tests. And we have our marvelous and not very interesting, but workable cube. And now when we save this, it's gonna have created a test GLB, so GLTF file, as it was expected. And if we go to the bevy side of things, we just need to restart it because there's no need to recompile. And there you go, your pickable cube is right there. So honestly, I don't think it gets any easier workflow-wise. To give you a bit more information on what's going on on the Bevy side of things, essentially what happens is the original level GLTF file gets spawned and then the blueprints uh, that are specified in the level get replaced with the actual um, information from their specific GLTF file. So for example, the player um, is originally just the blueprint name and uh, spawn here components. This has been removed in the process. A container is the same. So there's a blueprint name and the level gets rehydrated by spawning all the different GLTF files can also spawn things during the actual runtime of the game so as here uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can actually change that because there's some interesting aspects so if you take a look at the provided advanced example here you can see this is the spawn test it's actually showing you how you can spawn things during the game session here we're spawning test pickup, we could replace that with test. And essentially, really the only thing that you need is either using the blueprint bundle with the blueprint name or just blueprint name component and spawn here. So by the way, you can also override things that are specified inside your blueprint. So for example, if the we have the health pickup um, that has this um, healer amount 20 we could just insert inside bevy uh, another value for that if we want to override it for a specific use case and we can also add additional components to what has been spawned at runtime because essentially the, the crate what it does is it combines the contents of the blueprint gltf file with what you specify at spawn time so for example here i added an initial velocity when spawning the well these uh, health pickups and if i were to restart this you would see magnificent cubes being spawned instead of our health pickups so thank you for watching I hope you're gonna enjoy using these tools. Uh, I think it really makes for a very nice and simple workflow to get things done. Um, there's one or two little bugs that I'm aware of that I'm working on and also future improvement like supporting multiple library scenes in Blender and things like that. But in the meantime, it's uh, already quite usable as it is. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it and have a nice day. Bye-bye.